Hey guys, Clements here. IGN usually does one video review for both the 360 and PS3 versions of a game, but Bayonetta is a special case. The review you're watching now is specifically for the PS3 version of the game and uses PS3 footage. Head over to the 360 channel if you want the 360 video review. Anyway, if you've been following IGN's coverage of Bayonetta, you probably already know that it's one of the most over-the-top, absurd, and crazy games of all time. You may think I'm exaggerating, but consider this. You play as an Umbran witch who uses her hair as a conduit to hell for summoning infernal demons that eat bosses. Yes, it's that intense. Bayonetta tells the tale of two powerful clans, the Umbran Witches and Lumen Sages, each aligned with either Inferno or Paradiso. There's a giant falling out between the two groups, and both clans are eventually wiped out by their own war. Don't expect a storyline here that's as skillfully woven as Mass Effect or Uncharted, but the world and mythology that Platinum Games has created is worth experiencing. The art design of Bayonetta is gorgeous, but the game looks a bit washed out on the PS3. The angels and characters look fantastic, but the textures aren't nearly as sharp and vibrant as the 360 version. The environments are nice, even if there is a somewhat isolated feel to them. Oddly enough, though, there's also a fair amount of screen tearing when you're wandering around the levels. There's not as much during combat, but it's still a minor annoyance. The PS3 version of Bayonetta is victim to way more slowdown than its 360 counterpart. The game can feel sluggish at times, which is unfortunate for a fast-paced action title. In terms of presentation, Bayonetta has a very unique style that's awesome to behold. Sequences are well thought out and the choreographed fights are fantastic. A lot of the story is told through these static film strip segments, which aren't as good as the fully animated cutscenes. You can tell that the developers either didn't have the time or the budget to make everything fully animated. A much, much bigger problem has to do with the load times. The PS3 version loads when you find an item, it loads when you search for save files, it loads when you open a menu. This is completely unacceptable and it really hurts the experience. Despite the presentation problems, this game is still fun to play. One of the best things about Bayonetta is that you can equip different weapons on both Bayonetta's hands and her feet. This results in an insane amount of combos that are both flashy and satisfying. Combos are easy enough to pull off, but the game will still challenge players constantly. Skill comes into play when trying to dodge oncoming attacks, which works well. As I mentioned before, the slowdown does make the gameplay feel sluggish at certain sections. It doesn't happen everywhere, but it's very troubling when it does. In addition to normal combos, there are also crazy techniques called torture attacks and the aforementioned hair demons. These techniques add a brutal physical layer to the otherwise timing-based gameplay, and it works brilliantly. Another great thing about Bayonetta is the game's replayability. If you want to get all the weapons, costumes, and items, you'll have to play it multiple times. While this may be tedious in other games, you'll actually welcome it in this one. Bayonetta on the PS3 is an extremely disappointing port of an amazing game. The 360 version is one of the finest action games I've ever played, so it hurts to see such an incredible experience suffer on the PS3. Hopefully we'll see Bayonetta return in future games, and hopefully those future games will actually run on Sony's console. For the full written review and a more in-depth look at the differences between the console versions, check out IGN.com.